In this video, I talked to Jay Jun from Gorilla ROI, and he will be sharing with us what uh, metrics he's looking at when he's analyzing PPC campaigns. Many people think that ACOS is the most important to look at, but let's see what Jay has to say. Hello, Jay. So it's uh, a pleasure to have you here on the show. And could you introduce yourself shortly and uh, Later, we'll tell to the audience what we'll be talking about. Yes. Hi, Augustus. Hi, everyone. My name is Jay. I am currently an Amazon seller. I run this with my wife, and we are based in Seattle, Washington, so very close to Amazon headquarters. And we've been doing this since 2012. We've grown our business from very early stages of pretty much nothing to learning on the fly, making tons of mistakes, losing tons of money to now we're doing um, way more than seven figures. We're trying to project that and grow that up to the 10 figure range. Um, obviously, that's a big goal, but next, next rank will be up to eight figures. Um, and hopefully uh, the tips that I share will be useful we are organizing, Orange Click is organizing the PPC Congress in Amsterdam, October 3rd and 4th, 2019. It will be the first of its kind event for Amazon community, Amazon seller community, and also Amazon agencies, where we will basically during the event, we will be talking only about Amazon advertising. And uh, since you have a it's a big experience in selling on Amazon, I ask you if you could share something with the audience and you suggested... Uh, so actually, can you just explain what you will be sharing and just go deep into that? Yeah. So um, originally, we I've lost so much money on PPC because I was testing things and um, just trying this and that. At the moment, we still, I would consider small uh, because I'm sure there are many of you who are doing way more sales than us. Um, I made a stupid mistake and said 10 figures before, but that's, uh, that doesn't make sense. Uh, it's from seven to eight figures. But right now in terms of PPC, our monthly spend gets about 20 to 30K a month. And so small number and where we spend $20,000 one month, you spend 100K. Once you get out, pretty much the ideas and the strategies become very similar. It's just a matter of scale up with the different number of products and how much budget you have, but the strategy is all the same. And one of the things that really helped boost and improve our PPC campaigns and overall performance on the advertising side is to no longer focus on ACOS. As you know, ACOS is advertising cost of sales where Amazon just gives you a basic calculation of how much you spent and how much that spent, uh, spend generated sales. So if I um, sell a $10 product and I spend $1 to generate that $10, it gives me an ACOS of cent. And that's a lot of the, that's pretty much all Amazon gives you, but it leaves out so much details because one of the examples that I give, and this um, I, I feel like it meets, matches perfectly, is that if you only focus on a cost, then you're going to miss the forest for the trees because just looking at the a cost number itself will give you tunnel vision. You can make bad mistakes thinking that you're either way too high or you think you're too good at a specific a cost range. But what it doesn't really tell you is. Um, give you a, a total account overview of your advertising performance. You're really looking as a business seller to see how you're performing overall total account wise. And advertising also benefits your organic ranking. It helps your sales velocity. It helps your, it can help your um, conversion rates. Uh, you also have to look at your uh, click-through rates. And so these are all numbers that ACOS does not really explain or help you get an idea about. And so the KPI or the, core, um, the key performance indicator that we use in our advertising side is not ACOS, but it's actually the spend as a percentage of the total sales. So we attribute, we try to divide our total advertising spend to the total sales. And we have a target threshold that we try to hit every time. So our metric is we try to spend 10% of our revenue on advertising. And the way that differs from say ACOS is 
on the ACO side, it may be saying that I'm spending 30% on this one product. Let's say um, I'm selling these headphones. Okay, so I'm selling for $100, but I spent $30 to sell it. So it's telling me that I, I spent, my ACOS is 30%. But what it also wasn't, doesn't tell me is how that advertising helped boost my sales to boost my organic ranking. And through that ranking um, organically and through the ads, my conversion rates are going to go up. I'm going to improve my listings. I'm going to improve my photos. Everything encapsulates and everything is like, comes in together to really help um, the sales. And so, if my total sales was not $100, but it was really $1,000 and I only spent $10, what is that? That's going to be 1%. So my actual ACOS is 1%. So that's the way we think about it. And because we try to target a certain number, for example, if my total um, spend as a percentage of sales is currently at 1%, I know I have to spend more because I want to take advantage of that visibility. So there's all these different objectives that go into ACOS. If you just think about ACOS again, you may think that, oh, I'm overspending. But when you look at it as a whole, this product has much more potential to be spending more than you actually believe. So if you stop at because you think 30% is too high, but then your actual account percentage is showing something very small, like two, three, four percent you have way more budget to actually spend for more visibility for more sales. And that's the way we approach our um, product and PPC as a whole. And that's how we've also boosted our sales because originally when we were making newbie mistakes, I was purely looking at a cost and my a cost was coming in between like 26, 30%. Some even had 50%. And I was like, way, whoa, 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 I'm spending way too much. But then when I zoomed out, look at the bigger picture, although it was coming in at 50%, that was because I wasn't showing that many ads, but it was also doing very well organically. So that organic sales was able to help boost our, um, ranking and provide more budget to throw into the product sales. And by doing that, we were able to bring our ACOS down rather than just immediately cut it off. And so it improved the overall campaign as a whole. We were able to improve our total ad spend on an account level. And yeah, so that's, that's our main KPI that we definitely focus on rather than just looking at a cost individually let's look at the or let's see what tools are you using so you are the founder of gorilla roi which we will talk about very soon but for ppc management are you using anything uh, to automate or you are doing everything manually uh, we don't do anything automated at the moment. Uh, we do use most of our numbers that come directly through Gorilla ROI. We don't have any PPC related features. Um, but for example, when I say we calculate the total ad spend uh, for a particular product, it's easy for me to immediately pull any custom date range like the last two weeks or within any time frame, the total sales for every single SKU that I have. And from that, um, it's very easy for one of our team members to grab the total amount that we spent on a particular PPC, just put that into his spreadsheet and everything gets calculated automatically. And um, automating is something that we do want to look into, but um, I still believe it's way too early for us because we try to fiddle around and we do a lot of testing and um, checking data and whatnot. So rather than just leaving it to an automated system, we prefer to do some things manually. All right. Perfect. And uh, so let's uh, introduce to the people Gorilla ROI. So basically it's a tool, it's a spreadsheets, Google spreadsheets for Amazon sellers. Could you just in a one or two minute explain how it works and how it might help their businesses or to what makes it easier for them? Yes. So Gorilla ROI in its simplest explanation is a Google Sheets extension and add-on that you install. And then it allows you to directly connect your Seller Central account and import the data directly 
into Google Sheets automatically. So you don't have to constantly log in, export, clean up, organize, copy and paste, etc. You can just go in, enter a formula, any Google Sheets or spreadsheet formula, like if you've used VLOOKUPs equals average equals sum, it works exactly the same way. You just do equals gorilla, blah, blah, type in, say you want to look up the last seven days sales for this particular SKU and boom, it automatically populates it for whatever SKUs, ASINs you have. And because you can actually automate that process and you eliminate all that manual work that goes into it, you can feed your custom spreadsheets that you may use already. Like um, I'm pretty sure every business owner has a spreadsheet that they use and they have to manually feed the data to it. So you can pretty much automate that entire process and um, pretty much create your dashboards, reports. You can calculate your forecast with updated data instead of like having to um, copy and paste and export. So there's a whole lot of processes that manual processes that you eliminate by simply automating the entire process. Great. And if uh, someone is interested to check how Gorilla ROI works, uh, check the links below this video where you will find a demo of the software presented by Jay, today's, uh, today's my guest. Thank you, Jay, uh, for this insight and good luck in your business. Bye -bye. Okay, thank you, Augustus. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Uh, if you would like to get notification about new Orange Click videos where we talk to different Amazon seller software providers as well as Amazon software creators and also event organizers creating conferences for Amazon sellers, make sure you subscribe below to the YouTube channel of Orange Click.